Jason Hayward will take over in right field for the Cubs. And that's it. That's the only change. Same pitchers out there. Holland and Stroper warming up. Wick will rein in the ball game. Johnny, your former team's coming into town this yeah, weekend. The fighting, the, the, the Harry Cods are coming in, yeah. See Matty Machado, Fernando Tatis. Folks are coming from all over the place to see the Phillies. Two hours to see Scotty Kingery. Yeah. And they'll get to see him one more time. Here's Segura. Segura's 0 for 3. And a pitch down and away. One ball and no strikes. Ball short left center field. Schwarber makes the catch and one out here in the ninth inning. Diplo concert is coming up after the ball game tonight. Is Tatis okay? Yeah, what? I don't know. I, I don't know if I read it or dreamt it. Who knows that he, he got seemed nicked okay up. the other day. Be right. I'd like to see him play. Seems like a heck of a player. Well, Johnny, he is going to the injured list. He's in San Diego. He'll be reevaluated or was reevaluated today. There you go. I didn't dream it. You didn't dream it. Good research, John. One. Two and two. Side three and two. Over to shortstop, and it's booted by Bodie. Cesar, I think he would have had a tough time getting Cesar anyway. Bodie's made uh, 12 errors this year. That may be number 13. Yeah, just bounced up on him, hit him in the heel. Gee, that is an error. Yeah, 13 errors. Hopefully, that's the start of something big. Well, she gets Jen C. Kingry up with a runner at first. Down in Atlanta, Alonzo's four for four with six RBIs in that game. Amazing. First 90 RBI season since Lucas Duda in 14. Mets have 20 hits. Mm. 
And a liner out to center field. That'll drop for a hit. Elmora gets it in quickly. And now Brad Miller will pinch it for Ranger Suarez. This thing interesting. One more on Tom and a then a big one. Swing the foul tip. It's 0 and 1. Again, Wick has a scoreless streak of over nine innings facing a Phillies team that is 1 for 12 with runners in scoring position. <laughs> 0 and 2. Broken back ground ball toward the middle off the glove of a diving hat. A run will score. Kingery to third. Phillies have made it a 5 2 game. The tying run is coming to the plate. So a base hit for Miller, RBI. And here comes Joe Madden. That ends the scoreless streak for Wick. Nine and a third scoreless. Got in on Brad Miller, but just enough and a little bit of a, a shift right there. And see the play. Yes, it's going through. Run scores. Scotty Kingry to third base and one big swing away from tying this baby up. So the Phillies uh, will get deeper into the Cubs bullpen. A three run game. We'll be back after this. Bottom of the ninth inning, one out, runners on first and third. And the Phillies will bring the uh, tying run to the plate, and Pedro Strope is on to try to close it for the Cubs. Ten saves, he's blown six. And now Roman Quinn, up right handed earlier, double, now up left handed. Roman, this is his weaker side, but he has had some pretty good swings. Had a triple earlier in this series. Triple earlier in this series, left hand, but he also got second deck homer, the That's last right. home stand. His first career home run, left handed. Five two Cubs. And a pitch inside and low, 1 0. And you got to be patient with Pedro Stroke. Yeah, he'll walk it. Yes, he will. Tonight, that was tight. One and two to Roman.
Pulled toward the right side. Beats it into center field. It shoots off Hap's glove. A run scores. Miller stops at second. It's a 5-3 game. Off the bench, Roman Quinn. It's two for two. Concern on the Cubbies faces of the Cubbies fans, but the little Phillies, bit, little bit, a little excitement finally in this ballpark for tonight. They had nine innings of excitement yesterday, and only one inning of excitement today, and this has been it. Second ball in a row that just eludes Ian Happ, the second baseman for the Chicago Cubs. Another run scores. Now one swing away from a walk-off win. And it's Reese Hoskins who up. Phillies who's up. Phillies now with nine hits. Pitch low, it's 1 0. Anthony Rizzo asks if they want him to hold on, Roman Quinn. He is the tying run. Uh, and Roman's got to be aware of the pickoff coming up behind. It already yeah. hurt us once in this game. 1 and 1. That was a Hanger that I'm sure Reese will look back on and say, depending on how this at bat ends, of course, but we had a chance to put a hurting on that one. Well, ball and one strike as the runners lead off. Trying to go down and get that one. It's one and two. So cutter slider, the last two pitches. Harper's on deck. I wonder if they bring in Holland to face Harper. I would, I would think they would. We might not have to worry about it. Up until now. Not a ground ball to second base. It's wide open. Inside on man hit Reese. Hit him in the hands. He checked his swing. The Cubs will appeal it. Maybe they won't. And the bases will be loaded for Harper. Swung, but Here we go. There's the appeal. No, no swing. And now Joe Madden will go get the lefty Derek Holland to face the lefty Bryce Harper. So Reese's hand is okay. Another pitching change for the Cubs. Phillies have narrowed the lead to two. We'll be back after this. Bottom of the ninth inning. The bases are loaded. One out. The Cubs are using their third pitcher of the inning. They've got one out so far. And Bryce Harper will face Derek Collins. 
Lefty's hitting 184 against him, the former starting pitcher with the Texas Rangers, working on the bullpen for the Cubs. We reminisce July 16th against the Dodgers, Bryce Harper. This bullet off the leg of A.J. Pollock. Yeah, a huge comeback win by the Phillies in that game off of Kenley Jansen. With the excitement from Bryce, let's hope we can see that same excitement right here. The good thing is that we got our best RBI guy with runs and scoring position, our best yeah. hitter with runs and scoring position, and our hottest hitter up next. It's the first pitch foul, 94 in the inner half, and it's 0 and 1. You just got to be careful if you're Reese. Yeah, we already saw that earlier in the game with yeah. Logan Morrison. And especially with the left handed pitcher, you don't want to get out there, no man's land. Rutgers lead off. He's got two decent pitches. The first one was a little in. That one, that was a hittable pitch. I'd like to see him get that spread out like he has at times with two strikes. Just spread out, no stride, and just. So no toe tap, just spread out? Yeah, just, well, you, you've seen it. Yeah. So two pitch coming. That went off the glow of Caratini. He doesn't squirt far enough. to be answered first with a count one and two to Harper. Just about everybody on their feet here at the ballpark. We look at the, the nervous adrenaline rock. And the one two pitch in the dirt two and two. And the thing is too you know any ball that gets past the infield this is a tie game with Roman on second base. Mm -hmm. Two with the bases loaded and one out. Oh my God! Right deep to right field, way up there and way out of here. Second deck walk off home run. Grand slam, Bryce Harper. Wow! The Phillies have come. It's a stunned Cubs team that has been swept out of Philadelphia. Just soak it all the shots. Watch the talents. 
of our camera operators. Look at this shot. Amazing. There was a point where he didn't know if he was going to stay fair. It was high enough. Second deck grand slam. Real Muto knew it. The only concern was, was he going to catch Reese? <laughs> the way he was moving, he might have caught Roman Quinn. He's like a kid playing in a Little League game. What a celebration. Let's go to Greg Murphy. What a celebration indeed. I did. Price is still catching his breath, but uh, take me through that emotion. You knew you had it as soon as you hit it. The celebration afterward. Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> How good of a feeling is that? That was sick. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know. I mean, that was just, that was awesome. Oh my gosh. I saw my parents' lights are off in the suite right now, so they probably didn't see that. So thanks, Mom and Dad. Appreciate you. They're going to have to go back and check out the replay. I have a feeling we're going to see that a couple of times. But uh, take me through that at bat. They bring the left-hander in to face you. The bases are loaded. Guys doing their jobs in front of you. They get you to the plate. What are you thinking at that moment? Yeah, Holly's good against lefties. You know, he, he's always, you know, put that sinker in, slider down and away, cutter thing that he has. So he's really trying to get a sinker that he misses over the plate. And, I kind of cheated to that one last right, right there um, and got to it. Wow. Well, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say right now. That's unbelievable. I'm so happy we won that game. It's a huge win for us, huge sweep right there. It's a great Cubs team over there. And for us to be able to, you know, sweep them and start this home stand off right, it's huge for us. Fair to say this is why you play the game. Moments like that, the the, the feeling you have when you touch home plate and, you, and you're greeting your teammates. Besides winning a, a division and getting to the playoffs, that was one of the coolest moments I've ever had in my life. I mean, unbelievable, this fan base, everybody, that team pulling for me each night. I mean, what a family we have here. And I mean, this is, this is unbelievable. Go enjoy it with your teammates, Bryce. I appreciate it. Yeah. Guys? Well, if you're not fired up by that interview, by what has transpired here in the ninth inning, I'm not sure if anything will fire you up. I mean, seriously. Yeah, you come off that horrible road trip and you think, you know, what's left with this team? Well, I think you're starting to find out what's left. These guys aren't quitting on the season. They're not quitting on their chance to get to the postseason. And that's all you need to see right there is a sweep of the Cubs. Look at look at look at Brad Miller right there. Oh my God. I mean that was that unbelievable. A a second deck grand, grand slam. slam. That is incredible. Youthful exuberance. It's contagious. Let's hope it keeps on catching on. Phillies win it. They get six in the ninth. 7-5, the final score. We'll be back to wrap it up right after this.